on this good. Okay, lesson, uh, lesson 91, uh, miracles are seen in light. Uh, it is important to remember that miracles and vision necessarily go together. This needs repeating and frequent repeating uh, and frequent repeating. It is a central idea in your new thought system and the perception that it produces. The miracle is always there. Its presence is not caused by your vision. Its absence is not the result of your failure to see. It is only your awareness of miracles that is affected. You will uh, see them in the light. You will, you will not see them in the dark. I mean, for me, uh, ego perception is when I'm sort of hooked into my limited self, hooked into my thinking, my body, and I'm often vibrating at that limited consciousness. I could be vibrating at fear, anger, shame, or whatever it is. And as I look through the prism of my limitations of my ego, I usually see what I, I think the course would call perception. I perceive things from the, from the perspective of my ego. As I clear the ego by doing the Course of Miracles, i.e. the light of consciousness, the light of God, the light of the Holy Spirit starts to uh, come through. That's what I, I would take as divine vision. Uh, seeing things as they really are in truth without the obscuring filter of the ego getting in the way, which is uh, the miraculous. And then it opens you up to seeing uh, the miraculous unfold in the holy instant. So to you then, light is crucial. While you remain in darkness, the miracle remains unseen. Yes, often when I'm in my negative thinking or in fear, I can't really see miracles. Thus, you are convinced it is not there. This follows from the premises from which the darkness comes. Denial of light leads to failure to perceive it. Failure to perceive the light is to perceive darkness. I take that as if I don't do the spiritual work and try and let go of my blocks to the light, my blocks to the truth, my blocks to love by applying spiritual work to clear my ego, then um, that would be, that would, in a way, is denial of the light and wanting to remain in my ego perception. So failure to perceive the light is to perceive darkness. The light is useless to you then, even though it is there. You cannot use it because its presence is unknown to you. And the seeming reality of the darkness makes the idea of light meaning, meaningless. To be told what you do not see is there sounds like insanity. It is very difficult to become convinced that it is insanity not to see what is there and to see what is not there instead. You do not doubt that the body's eyes can see. You do not doubt the images that they show you are reality. Your faith lies in the darkness, not the light, which is, um, which is true. When I'm in my ego thinking and uh, latched onto my thoughts, uh, negative feelings, the body, and, I'm, and I believe that this is the real me looking on the world, then um, that is, um, what I do see is often uh, dark and limited. So it is, um, so what's it saying here? So yes, I'm, I'm not seeing reality, I'm seeing illusions. So you, and my faith is in my ego showing me the truth, which my ego cannot do by definition. So how can this be reversed? For you, it is impossible, but you are not alone in this. Your efforts, however little they may be, have strong support. Did you but realize how great this strength, your doubts would vanish. Today we'll devote ourselves to attempt to let you feel this strength. When you have felt the strength in you, which makes all miracles within, within your easy reach, you will not doubt. The miracles you, you, your sense of weakness hides will leap into your awareness as you feel the strength in you. Three times today, set aside about 10 minutes for a quiet time in which you try to leave your weakness behind. This is accomplished very simply. As you instruct yourself that you are not a body, faith goes to what you want, and you, you instruct your mind accordingly. So it's saying here, um, uh, this is come to very simply, instruct yourself you're not a body. This is one of the major, um, things and of course I'm not a body I'm free from as God created me as soon as I allow myself to identify with the body I'm pulling in a lot of programs and I'm believing that I am the body 
And that disconnects me from a lot of light and a lot of miracles uh, from when I let go of being identified with my limited self, the body being one of the major blocks, thoughts also another block, to allowing light and miracles to occur in life. So faith goes to what you want and you instruct your mind accordingly. You will remain, your will remains your teacher and your will has all the strength to do what it desires. You can escape the body if you choose. You can experience the strength in you. Begin the longer practice periods with this statement of true cause and effect relationships. This thing that the course mentions uh, and my teacher, of course, the Miracles teacher, Dr. Hawkins, um, you know, here it says, begin the longer practice periods in which the statement of true cause. So when I'm in the ego, thinks that cause and effect happens in the world. Like if I do this, then that thing happens, like billiard balls, or the Newtonian, uh, the Newtonian view on causality. But actually what the course is, and actually what all true uh, enlightened teachers know, is that what appears in this world is coming out of consciousness, out of the light. The light of God is the true power of which things uh, come into existence from the unmanifest world into the manifest world. When you're in the ego, you, you're looking for outside things, which the course would call magical cures. But um, when you let go of the idea of causality and magic, then um, you access the realm of, of, of light and the infinite realm, which is the true source of miracles and from which uh, things emerge into this world. So miracles are seen in light. The body's eyes do not perceive the light. Yes, from the body, if I'm identified with my body and believing my eyesight is the truth, then um, that is not the truth. That is just perception from my, uh, <clears throat> from my ego. Um, so miracles are seen like the body's eyes do not perceive the light. Uh, so the question with which the statement ends is needed for our exercise today. What you think you are is a belief to be undone. Absolutely true. I, I believe I'm the body, my thoughts. Uh, I, I believe all the programming I've had in this lifetime. So it's all to be undone but what you really are must be revealed to you. So it's only when I let go of all my faults, limiting beliefs that I can experience the truth of what I really am. So the belief you are a body calls for correction, being a mistake. <clears throat> the truth of what you are calls on the strength in you to bring to your awareness what the mistake conceals. If you are not a body, what are you? You need to be aware of what the Holy Spirit uses to replace the image of a body in your mind. You need to feel something to put your faith in. As you lift it from the body, as you lift it from the body, I'll repeat that again. You need to feel something to put your faith in as you lift it from the body. You need a real experience of something else, something more solid and more sure, more worthy of your faith and, 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 and really there. If you're not a body, what are you? Ask this honestly. And when you devote several minutes to allowing your mistaken thoughts about your attributes to be corrected and their opposites to take their place, say for example, I am not weak, but strong. I am not helpless, but all powerful. I'm not limited, but unlimited. I, I am not doubtful, but certain. I'm not an illusion, but a reality. I cannot see in darkness, but in light. In the second phase of the exercise period, try to experience these truths about yourself. Concentrate particularly on the experience of strength. Remember that all sense of weakness is associated with the belief you are a body, a belief that is mistaken and deserves no faith. Try to remove your faith from it, if only for a moment. You'll be accustomed to keeping faith with the more worthy in you as we go along. Relax for the rest of the practice period, confident that your efforts, however meager, are fully supported by the strength of God and, and all his thoughts. It is from them that your strength will come. It is through their strong support that you will feel the strength in you. They are united with you in this practice period in which you share a purpose like their own. Theirs is the light which you will see miracle, in which you will see miracles, because their strength is yours. Their strength becomes your eyes that you may see. Five or six times an hour, at reasonably regular intervals, remind yourself that miracles are seen in light. 
also be sure to meet temptation with today's idea. This form would be helpful for this special purpose. Miracles are seen in light. Let me not close my eyes because of this. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Uh